what is up what is up so you guys haven't seen the g35 i haven't really posted much about it but <clears throat> we have undergone a uh vq35 de rev up to a non-rev up vq35 de um pulled the motor put this motor in uh upgraded the clutch <clears throat> all sorts of shit like that so yeah this is where we're at here and um i'll go over kind of the uh what you need for the uh swap as far as making it all work because i still have the rev up harness and there are some issues <clears throat> but for the most part um oh, there's so much condensation on this for the most part we're doing some minor upgrades we clean the injectors did some bits and pieces here and there um we also <laughs> ended up making the headers work you see them down there and i did these while the motor was out because fuck that that looks terrible um <clears throat> and we have some i believe these are kinetic um down pipes or test pipes sensors go right in here so we're gonna go ahead and swap these in while the car's up in the air it's pretty much all wired up um the only thing that is i'm waiting on is um take out the alternator because this is a two prong uh plug for the alternator and the alternator on the non rev up was a three three prong plug jam i just got a stroke um another thing that's different too is the uh, ac condenser so um these are the two plugs that are different you have this here and then this one here um so this is a rev up harness with a non rev up motor so this is going to be different um this plug here is the same on both of them and then this harness is supposed to plug in back here so yeah nothing i could do about that i tried taking this oh let's see if i get a better view but it's this right here and i can't get that out um i tried to see if there was a plug there but there's not so yeah i have to get a new ac condenser and those should be here on the 30th right now today's the 22nd so yeah that's what we're working with it's almost done holy yeah a lot of condensation from and rain from the hurricane but we could throw these on should be quick simple because all the bolts are still loose so get under the car <clears throat> all right let's crawl underneath here i already have these bolts out so we're gonna take these two bolts out and these are already loose oh that has so much rust in my eye and this bolt and then there's a cross section that holds these and I take that out prior because I don't want to deal with it. It's just easier. So, and then you got these sensors you have to undo here and here. These two will be this way. Sensor, sensor unplug, undo the cross member, and then undo your bolts here. And you're good to go. All right, so I got one of them in. Um, not the best fitment in the world, but I don't think I'll have exhaust leaks. Um, and this right here is for your sensors. 
pipe comes up and you have three here so not too bad I have my sensor in my headers it comes with gaskets like I said it's not the best fitment in the world but it'll do and then once I buy some new sensors I'm gonna leave these a little loose and I will change them out and plug them in here so yeah we have another side now but all in all quality is good the welds look good are they the best no is the fitment the best no but you know for 120 bucks i can't complain get to the other side all right test pipes are in wasn't the worst wasn't the best um quick tip for tightening hot bolts make like one of those mega extensions you can see that top bolt up there you just thread all the way down in there you can get that bolt you can get that back bolt too as well for this one it's gonna be hard to see but it's your top bolt trying to get in there all the way back and let me put my extension back there and you can get it from right up here all the way back in there you'll know what I'm talking about and I got one two three extensions and you can get those those top bolts but cool I'll show you what they look like under the car now all right underneath the car here is the first test pipe like i said i don't have my sensors in just yet but lines up pretty good now i'm pretty meaty um and for now i'll just let these two sensors dangle i'll cover them in the meantime but yeah that's kind of the install so that's kind of it for right now on the g um no start obviously but if you wanted a pair of cheap test pipes with some pretty decent fitment, these uh, Kinetic Lab test pipes and header combo is not bad. So, the fitment on the driver side, a little bunk. It was, I did fight. The fitment on the passenger side was perfect. I had no issues. So, Take that for what you will. I enjoy them. I like them. I've had no issues with them. Really, uh, super like no issues fitment wise to the extreme. But you know, that's pretty much it um, for the G for now. Like I said, I'm waiting on an alternator and a AC compressor. And then hopefully we could get the car on the road because pretty much ready so pretty much it um next update will hopefully be the car starting for the first time but we'll see keep you updated peace